Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Health Fitness 1047. Today, we wish you a good day. And then, here is this episode new. Follow up. One, Diddy placed on suicide watch at MDC Brooklyn. Inside the detention center Sean, Diddy, Combs is currently on suicide watch at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn as he awaits trial on three felony counts related to alleged abuse. Spanning over a decade, a judge denied his bail appeal, and he remains in custody after being arrested on charges including racketeering, sex trafficking, and transportation for prostitution. With allegations dating back to 2008, Combs has pleaded not guilty. His placement on suicide watch is described as a procedural measure for high-profile inmates. Similar to other notable figures previously held at the facility. Two, Judalon Smith. Five things to know about the key witness in Menendez brothers' case Lyle and Eric Menendez are serving life sentences for the 1989 murders of their parents in Beverly Hills. Interest in their case has been revived by Ryan Murphy's Netflix series, Monsters, The Lyle and Eric Menendez Story, which premiered on September 19. Initially not considered prime suspects. The brothers' situation changed when Judalon Smith, the mistress of their psychologist Dr. Jerome Oziel, reported Eric's confession to the police. Smith had an affair with Oziel, whom she met in June 1989 while running a tape duplicating business. 3. Kim Porter Everything you need to know about the mother of four who died at 47 Kim Porter, a model and actress. Passed away at 47 in 2018, initially reported to have died from cardiac arrest, but later confirmed to have succumbed to pneumonia. She was the mother of four children, including three with Sean, Diddy, Combs. Recently, Porter has been back in the news following Diddy's arrest on serious charges, including sex trafficking and racketeering. In response to this situation, producer Chris Todd has released a book titled, Kim's Lost Words, claiming to be a collection of her diaries, stating he felt compelled to share her words due to Diddy's arrest. 4. Leslie Abramson Everything to know about Eric Menendez's defense lawyer Lyle and Eric Menendez are serving life sentences for the 1989 murders of their parents in Beverly Hills. A new Netflix series, Monsters. The Lyle and Eric Menendez story, which premiered on September 19, revisits their case. Exploring whether the brothers were motivated by a desire for their family's wealth or were victims of severe abuse from their parents. High-profile defense attorney Leslie Abramson, who represented Eric Menendez during his trial, argued that the brothers were abused, a claim they continue to support. 5. Olivia Munn and John Mullaney welcome second child after breast cancer journey Olivia Munn and John Mullaney have welcomed their new baby girl, May June Mullaney, born via surrogate on September 14. 2024, the couple shared their joy on social media, posting photos from the hospital. Munn expressed her complex feelings about not being able to carry her daughter thanking their gestational surrogate for her support and care during the pregnancy. She also shared the significance of her daughter's name, referring to her as My Little Plum, My Little Dragon. 6. Black Music Action Coalition Everything you need to know about the gala The Black Music Action Coalition, BMAC, held its fourth annual awards gala at the Beverly Hilton in Los Angeles. 
celebrating influential figures in the black community and honoring artists who support positive change. Hosted by Kenny Burns, the event featured a tribute by DJ Mars to late artists Fatman Scoop, Tito Jackson, and rich homie Kwan. Established in 2020, BMAC aims to promote racial equity and justice in the music industry by uniting voices to foster community improvement and systemic change. The gala, presented by Live Nation, also showcased BMAC's mentorship initiatives. 7. Gypsy Rose Blanchard Updates on her pregnancy in the second trimester Gypsy Rose Blanchard is experiencing changes as she progresses through her pregnancy, expecting her first child with boyfriend Ken Urker. She announced her pregnancy in July via a YouTube video, sharing that the baby is due in January 2025 and that the pregnancy was unexpected but welcomed. A month later, Gypsy revealed the baby's gender in an Instagram video, celebrating with pink confetti. 8. Friends' 30th Anniversary What the creators said about Matthew Perry's absence, Friends, celebrates its 30th anniversary today, having premiered on September 22, 1994. The sitcom quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Airing for 10 seasons and 236 episodes, and has been viewed over 100 billion times. However, the recent death of cast member Matthew Perry at age 54 has overshadowed the celebration. Perry's passing, attributed to the acute effects of ketamine, occurred in 2023, and led to the arrest of five individuals, including two doctors, for allegedly exploiting his struggles with addiction. Creator Marta Kaufman emphasized the strong bond among the show's six stars, which included Perry, 9. Coldplay Tour 2025. Book My Show crashes as India tickets go on sale Coldplay is set to return to India in 2025 after a nine-year hiatus, following the success of their summer 2024 European shows and new UK performances. The band, consisting of Chris Martin, Johnny Buckland, Guy Berryman, Will Champion, and manager Phil Harvey, last performed in India in 2016. The announcement led to overwhelming demand for tickets, causing the Book My Show website to crash shortly after they went on sale. Fans are eagerly anticipating the concert, especially after a teaser was shared on social media. 10. Monsters the Lyle and Eric Menendez story cast, Meet the Actors Monsters, The Lyle and Eric Menendez Story, is a Netflix series that recounts the true events of the Menendez brothers, who murdered their parents in 1989. This anthology series follows the earlier season focused on Jeffrey Dahmer. The cast includes Javier Bardem as Jose Menendez a role that aligns with his extensive experience in portraying complex characters. Bardem highlighted the series' exploration of trauma in a recent interview, emphasizing its significance in the narrative.